launch the Udeploy console and click on Components tab and click Create Component button. Name the component as ear underscore component underscore server. This is the component we will use to perform the WebSphere server operations such as stopping WebSphere server, starting WebSphere server, Regan plugin etc. Leave the default team as it is. Teams is what define the security on the component, explaining security is out of scope for this tutorial. Keep all the other option default and click save button. Once the component here underscore component underscore server is created, it should take you to the newly created components page. Navigate to configuration and then resource property definitions. This is where we will add the properties needed for the component here underscore component underscore server. We will explain about properties more later. For now click on add property button. Name the property as websphere.server and select the checkbox required. This checkbox enable to prompt for the property value when this component is added to different resources. By this way you will never forget to set the value. Provide the default value as your websphere server name, in our case server underscore ear. You can leave the default value empty as well. In that case you need to provide the value on each resource this component is added. If you have the WebSphere server name different across your agents, then it is best to leave the value empty. Next go the process tab of the component here underscore component underscore server. Here we'll set up the various processes for stopping WebSphere server, starting WebSphere server, Regan plugin, etc. Click on create process button. Name the process as stop application server and change the process type to operation, no version needed. We chose this because this is an operation step and no ear version is needed for this step. Keep all other option as the default and click on save button. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created stop application server process there. Now we will define that process. Click the edit button next to the stop application server process. You will be directed to the design page. By default start is the beginning of the flow and finish is the end of flow. Between start and finish we define process. On the left pane type check status and hit enter key. This will act as filter and show you the step we want easily. Drag the check status step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of check status step. Keep all the option default and click OK. Back on the design page, on the left pane type stop server and hit enter key. Drag the stop server step from the left pane to the design area under check status and before finish step. This will open the properties of stop server step. Keep all the option default and click OK. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Hold the mouse left button on the start step and drag to check status step. A line is drawn. Now pull a line from check status to stop server and then from stop server to finish. Lastly connect check status and finish but this time click on the green tick on the line and it will show run on failure. So first the check stos step runs and find if WebSphere application server is running or not, if it is running then output of that step is success and proceeds for stop server step. If WebSphere application server is not running then check status output is failure and the flow ends there. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. Back on the process tab of ear underscore component underscore server component, click on create process button. Name the process as start application server. Change the process type to operation, no version needed. Keep all other options as the default and click save button. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created start application server process there. Click the edit button next to the start application server process. 
you will be directed to the design page. On the left pane type start server and hit enter key. Drag the start server step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of check status step. Keep all the option default and click OK. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. Back on the process tab of your underscore component underscore server component, click on create process. Name the process as stop IHS. Change the process type to operation, no version needed. Keep all other options as the default and click save. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created stop IHS process there. Now we will define that process. Click the edit button next to the stop IHS process. You will be directed to the design page. On the left pane type shell and hit enter key. Drag the shell step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of shell step. Name the step as stop IHS. Directory offset to be set as dot. Provide below in the shell sip box, cd slash dollar p waspace slash admin slash ben slash slash stop was p base h. Keep all the options default and click OK. Shell step is basically a Linux terminal. Anything we run on a Linux terminal can be run from here too. Note that we kept $p space, this is a variable which we will be defining when we add the resource. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Lastly click save on the left pane to save the design. Back on the process tab of your underscore component underscore server component, click on create process. Name the process as start IHS. Change the process type to operation, no version needed. Keep all other options as the default and click save. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created start IHS process there. Now we will define that process. Click the edit button next to the start IHS process. You will be directed to the design page. On the left pane type shell and hit enter key. Drag the shell step from the left pane to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of shell step. Name the step as start IHS. Directory offset to be set as dot. Provide below in the shell sip box, cd slash dollar p waspace slash admin slash ben slash slash start was p base h. Keep all the options default and click OK. Shell step is basically a Linux terminal. Anything we run on a Linux terminal can be run from here too. Note that we kept $p space, this is a variable which we will be defining when we add the resource. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. Back on the process tab of your underscore component underscore server component, click on create process. Name the process as regenerate plugin. Change the process type to operation, no version needed. Keep all other options as the default and click save. You will be taken back to the process tab and you can see the newly created regenerate plugin process there. Now we will define that process. Click the edit button next to the regenerate plugin process. You will be directed to the design page. On the left pane type generate plugin and hit enter key. Drag the generate plugin step from the left to the design area between start and finish step. This will open the properties of generate plugin step. Set application server root directory as $websphere.approot.dir. Set configuration repo root directory as $websphere.repo.root.dir. Set output file name as plugincfg.xml. Later when we add the resource, we will set values for websphere.approot.dir and websphere.repo.root.dir. Keep other options default and click OK. Now connect the design as in the diagram. Lastly click save button on the left pane to save the design. 
when everything is done, on process tab of year underscore component underscore server component will have five different processes. Regenerate plugin, start IHS, start application server, stop IHS, stop application server. In the next section we will create a deploy application and map the components.